And welcome inside the Acres Broadcast Center. I'm Tim Mulhelpt, and this is your Sports Nightly Ticker. Huskers football announced today that senior defensive lineman Ben Stilley is their senior class award candidate. The senior class award focuses on total student athlete and encourages students to use their platform and athletics to make a positive impact as leaders in their communities. Stilley has earned five appointments to both the Brooke Beringer and Tom Osborne citizenship teams for his work in local and Nebraska communities. He is a two-time AFCA Good Works team nominee and a two-time member of the Whirlpool Trophy Watch List, which recognizes the player who best com uh, combines exemplary community service with leadership achievement on and off the field. Stilley is one of 30 senior class award nominees across the country. Huskers women's golf continues to rack up awards as sophomore Michaela Vavrova was named Big Ten Women's Golfer of the Week. Vavrova won an individual championship at the Stampede at the Creek in Elkhorn, Nebraska this weekend with scores of 74, 71, and 72 over three rounds, taking home the championship by four strokes. Vavrova is already the third Huskers women's golfer to win the weekly award this season, joining Nicole Hansen and Lindsey Thiel. Huskers also received some praise today from the NFL as Buffalo Bills quarterback Josh Allen referenced Memorial Stadium when asked about the hardest places he's ever had to play at in his young career. Elsewhere in the NFL, the Carolina Panthers made headlines this morning as they traded a sixth-round pick to the New England Patriots to acquire former Defensive Player of the Year cornerback Stephon Gilmore. In baseball tonight, the MLB playoffs continue as the St. Louis Cardinals travel to L.A. to take on the defending champion Dodgers. Journeyman Adam Wainwright takes the bump against former Cy Young Max Scherzer at 7.10 p.m. Central. That's the ticker. I'm Tim Mulhelpt, and this is Sports Nightly on the Huskers Radio Network. Coming to you live from Memorial Stadium, it's Sports Nightly. All the Huskers, all the time. Sports Nightly is presented by the NDOT Highway Safety Office, who reminds you to buckle up and put the phone down. Pass by Kenzie Knuckles, Jack back to slide. We're done. Warren Stilbrins, 25 to 20. The verdict. Stilbrins with the finish, and the teams wave at each other. Second down and 10. Snap back. Give it off to Yant, right side. Jack West to the 35, nice move. 40, 45, 50, 45, 40, run, big fella. 30, 25, 20. Stiff army guy, 10 to the 5. He's out of bounds at the 4-yard line. Jack West, Yant, we love you in Lincoln. Here are your hosts, Greg Sharp and Jessica Cootie on the Huskers Radio Network. Thank you. Welcome to the program. Another night of Sports Nightly here, and you have us for two hours tonight as no coaches show headed your way tonight. We do have one tomorrow night. Quick programming note. The head coach, Scott Frost, will be here in hour number two tomorrow, so get your comments, questions ready for the head coach coming off that Huskers win over Northwestern and the big matchup with Michigan coming up on Saturday night. We do have a full show. Garrett Nelson's going to uh, sat down with Jessica early in the week. Can't wait to hear some of this conversation with with 44, who's playing some really good football for the Black Shirts. That's coming up later in this hour. John Rothstein was in town last week. He covers college basketball for CBSSports.com. He was the MC for the uh, big event at PBA last Friday night. Jessica got a chance to get his thoughts about Husker basketball. So we'll hear from him at the top of hour number two. It's a Big Ten Blitz night. We'll check in with Michigan State, Illinois, and Penn State, all with matchups Coming up this weekend in league play, uh, Andrew will be taking notes as he tries to make some decent picks for once this week. He's got a lot of ground to make up. Yes, he, yes, he does. He almost needs to run the table from here on out. <laughs> so uh, he'll be, and he wants to hear what you have to say about some of these matchups <laughs> too. So we're going to have some fun with that. Always, uh, you're a, a, a welcome to come on the program as well. 402 413 2400. That's our uh, Sports Nightly hotline. You can also text that very same number, and we are up and running on our YouTube stream tonight. And the chat room is alive and well with the, the normal cast of characters in there tonight. Oh, yeah. They're, They're there. um, here every night. They, there's a group of them. They call themselves the OGs because the they were been here from the, the start of the stream. And they're here every night. So they're uh, some of our most loyal listeners and fans of Nebraska. They're super positive and um, excited for another night game. Yeah, and they don't like somebody coming in that's a negative Nancy. No, they, they, get no, after, they get after them. They all team up and... <laughs> and uh, Kick them out. Get them out of there. They do. <laughs> uh, they do. And we appreciate those folks uh, showing their Husker pride every night in there. So if you want to jump in there and have some fun with those folks, uh, please check that out. Huskers practice today. No media availability after practice. We're getting closer and closer to Saturday night's matchup with Michigan. I was doing, I was going through everybody's notes. And, you know, we, we all know Nebraska's won the, the seventh most wins in college football history at 908. Uh, we played Oklahoma a couple weeks ago. They're tied for fifth with 922. 
Uh, we will play the Buckeyes in a couple weeks. They're number two all time with wins, 935. And Michigan has won the most games in, in the history of college football, 969. And, you know, we've played half the season, and I saw an updated version of this the other day, Jessica, that from here to the finish, Nebraska still has the toughest schedule left in college football, starting with the, the mis top 10 Michigan here on Saturday night. It's not going to be easy no, these next six weeks. No, it is one week after another, and it started. It's crazy that we're already halfway through. Right. I mean, I feel like we just started this season, just kicked it off in Illinois. But, yeah, I mean, you look at the, the Illinois game, obviously that, that was disappointed. But from then on out, I mean, it's not like – they had the two home games, but it is week in and week out. It's a battle. And, I mean, the Big Ten is playing solid football this year. There's a lot of good teams, and it seems like Nebraska got all of the top teams on they the did. schedule this year. Yeah. So uh, I don't know how that worked out. And some, we were talking about that in a commercial break the other night about how some of the other – how did some of these other schools get away with not having to get kind of some of the easier matchups on their cross-divisional uh, matchups. But, yeah, Nebraska drew the, the short straw this, this season, but I think – they're, they're battle tested. They're ready for the stretch, uh, you know, and, and maybe opposed to maybe some teams like Michigan hasn't really been tested yet. So Nebraska has been in some of those battles. They've come up short and then they've figured out and they feel like they've put it all together last week and they've got to, you know, obviously build off of that and it's going to be a tougher team and a tougher test, but they have, are, feel like they got a lot of things worked out last Saturday. You always play those three crossover games against the other division. And this year, Nebraska drew Michigan State, now number 11 in the country. Michigan, Saturday night, top 10. And Ohio, Ohio State, State yeah. top 10. I mean, we didn't <laughs> think Michigan happen? State would be, but they they are good for them. They they I'm not sure they're legitimate top 20, but they're playing well right now. Yeah, I... I meant to look up what their schedule is going to be from here on out. I, I mean, I think they have Iowa, right? They haven't played any of those big boys in the East yet. They haven't played the Buckeyes. They haven't yep. played Michigan. They haven't played Penn State. So they're, they're going to get tested. They're not going to stay undefeated, but uh, they've been good. But as I was going through the Michigan game notes, Jessica, this came up, and, and this is a point, and some people maybe don't want us talking about academics, and but they are student athletes, right? Michigan's got a little graphic in here about all academic all Big Ten football players for the last six years, 2015 to 2020. Northwestern's number one. You would expect yeah. that, right? Private uh -huh. school, hard to get into. Northwestern's number one. Minnesota, kind of surprising, is number two. Nebraska's number three. And they haven't even been in the Big Ten as well. How about long? that? For the last six years. Oh, for the last six years. 15 to 20. Okay. Michigan's number four. So Michigan puts it in there because they're number four. But Nebraska's number three. And Nebraska's best year with the most academic all Big Ten football players was last year. Wow. Well, that's this staff making sure they're getting down and seeing Dennis LeBlanc and going and, make, and checking all those and doing that part of it right. And I think that's something we ought to be proud of. It, it's super impressive. And I just, you can tell when you interview a lot of these guys, too, how intelligent they are, yep. how uh, good of a head they have on their shoulders. I mean, these are good guys that take care of their business all around. And then you talk about the life skills and Keith Zimmer and the, the things that they do even – outside of all of that to volunteer their time. There's a lot of things that we don't even know about that they do. And so it's very, very impressive. And then, hey, we just heard about Ben Stilley, which is always a, Fantastic. a, a huge honor to be in that list to be, I mean, you're talking about thousands and thousands of players that, you know, you get down to that small list and for him to be on that list. And so, yeah, it's, it's super impressive. And, and they, all across the board here, the, the departments that are there to help them, you know, achieve. I've heard that time and time again about, you know, even a guy like Matt Sichterman who wanted to, uh, you know, major in engineering, which is not an easy major, right? But he talked to the, you know, Dennis LeBlanc and crew about, hey, this is what I want my major to be. And, you know, Dennis was like, hey, we'll figure it out. We're, we're, we have the resources here. We've had guys do it before. We're going to get you through that. And he has his degree. Now he's working on his master's. Garrett Nelson's about to get his, his yep. uh, degree in May as well. So it's, it's, they stay on track, but it's also, you know, they, they do well in the classroom as well. Adrian already has his degree. Yeah, as I, well as being a starting quarterback with all that comes to that. And he graduated last May. It, and it's crazy, too. A lot of times you'll hear, you'll ask student athletes, I always kind of ask them, hey, what's your major? What, you know, and 
Garrett's in finance, and then um, you know th all the guys that you talk to that their their majors are not easy either. You know, I think Turner Corcoran's got a really tough major too, and it's just a lot of them are not just cakewalk majors just to get through and be in school. It's I mean it is a, a tough tough degree to get a lot of, for a lot of these guys. Well, just to put this in, so six years Nebraska has 235 academic All Big Ten football players, 235. Michigan's 224, and then it really drops off. Illinois goes down to 187. They're six, so it really falls off after the top four. Nebraska's number three, and again, the most that they've had was last year, which would this this staff would be the ones that influenced that, and that was your. What's the for criteria for that? You have Is to have it? a 3.7 GPA or better. Wow. <laughs> and so, I mean, that's that's not easy. No. While playing football. Yeah. And it's across the. It not, we're, we're talking about football right now, but it's across the board. All, Husker Athletics does a wonderful job across the board with all their teams, whether it's volleyball or softball or basketball or baseball. They're all up there in all those things, and that's just something I, I hope the state takes a little bit of pride in. Uh, yeah, I would definitely bring down that that team average, though. Good thing my Ooh. GPA is not being included in that. <laughs> 3.7? That's, that's ridiculous. See, now, w the reason that what balances our, our little group here is, is the guys behind us. I mean, Andrew and Tim would be the ones that bring up the GPA you in, the, in the room. You think? So. As they start laughing. I did well in high school, but when I went to college, boy, that was, that's a different story. <laughs> so it was like, yeah, don't include mine. I, I would be scared to see what our team GPA average is in, in, this, in this studio. Uh, yeah, yeah, let's move on. <laughs> no, but I, I did want to point that out, and I'm surprised something like that's not in the Nebraska notes. I might point that out to Keith. Man, that's a pretty good little thing to see right there. Probably because they, they have the academic All-Americans. That's true. That's which kind Nebraska of Nebraska just blows yeah. everybody out of the water. Because that's number one. You're you're number one there. Number one there. Hey, buckle up. Put that uh, phone down. A reminder from the NDOT Highway Safety Office. Again, 402-413-2400. The number to be a part of the program tonight. Uh, if you have a call, text. If you want to jump in the chat room, you can do that as well. When we come back, we're going to talk to one of our favorites on this team, Garrett Nelson. That's coming up next. If you're driven by an adventurous heart, you're in luck. The 2021 Subaru Outback shares your spirit. It will take you as far as you want to explore with standard symmetrical all-wheel drive. It'll get you off the beaten path with 8.7 inches of ground clearance, more than Toyota RAV4 or Honda Passport. It's the best Outback ever. The 2021 Subaru Outback. Go where love takes you. Comparison based on competitor information for manufacturer websites as of July 2020. Visit Beardmore Subaru in Bellevue or at BeardmoreSubaru.com. Welcome to Ag Answers, where we answer common questions related to farming and ranching. Today we're tackling the issue of GMOs, or genetically modified organisms. GMOs may sound scary, but they're actually benefiting our environment and consumers. That's because GMO crops help solve specific problems like insects, food waste, and droughts. By selecting good traits from one plant or organism and adding them to another, farmers are safely using science to produce high-quality foods better than ever before. This message is brought to you by Nebraska's corn and soybean farmers. Pivot control has never been easier. T&L Irrigation now offers a new control panel called Precision Point Touch. It's a full-color, 7-inch graphic touchscreen that's easy to use and gives you lots of great tools to make your irrigation faster and more efficient. Set up your pivots the way you want. You can update your older controls to the new Precision Point Control Panel, too. Call your local TNL dealer or visit TLIRR.com. TNL Irrigation, like no other. Isn't it about time to add a new piece of Husker gear to your closet? Check out the new 255 collection, inspired by the legendary coach Tom Osborne. With the mission to connect style with Nebraska pride, 255 was designed with the fan in mind. From Hastings to Lincoln, coach to statesman, leader to legend. Thomas William Osborne, it's all in the name. It's all in the numbers. 255 wins. This is TWO55. Get yours today at shop.huskers.com or other participating retailers. For more information, visit huskers.com 255. There's a call on the field for a quality seed specific to where you farm. Make the right call with Prairie Valley. With local research in eight regions throughout Nebraska, Prairie Valley performs with their locally specific hybrids and varieties while achieving the highest quality and yield. No matter where you farm in Nebraska, Prairie Valley has the seed for where you are. Find a local dealer and learn more about the seed for where you are at prairievalleyseeds.com. Preparation. It's the key to success on game day. And like your favorite Huskers on the field, you need to be ready right from the opening kickoff. Senex has your pregame routine covered. We've got your salty snacks, your sweet treats, 
ice cold beverages to wash them down and fresh tanks of propane to fire up the grill. Fuel your fandom at your local Cenex station. Husker Pride, powered locally. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. You trained for this all year. Endless hours of cardio, conditioning, and weights. And now you are ready. Ready to trek back to your seat from the concession stand. Through the lines, lost fans, and that mascot who wants you to do a little dancey dance, all without spilling a drop of your ice cold Bud Light. Welcome back to football, sports fans. There is no place like Nebraska, and there's no place that treats you like home, like Sap Brothers. For 50 years, Sap Brothers has fueled America's heartland and been a reliable partner to local farms and Husker fans across Nebraska. Providing the highest quality fuel, lubricants, and propane. Servicing your farming equipment and welcoming guests into their travel centers. Visit www.sapbros.net. Sap Brothers is proud to be an official partner of Husker Athletics. Business Technology 1, Network Downtime 0. Being a game-winning IT network takes hard work and an experienced technology coach. That's why our game plan includes Marco. Marco helps our entire business infrastructure perform better and score big day in and day out. With Marco's veteran experience guiding our team, every season is a winning season. Find out what your technology could be saying at marconet.com. Addy Sports Bar and Grill is the place to watch Nebraska games this season. Locally owned and operated, Addy's is Omaha's premier sports bar with four locations in Elkhorn, Maple Street, Millard, and the new flagship Capital location in downtown Omaha. If it's Husker game day, it's on at Addy's. Addy's Sports Bar and Grill is Omaha's official watch party spot with game day giveaways, prizes, fun, and more surprises later in the season. Addy's Sports Bar and Grill. See you there for the game. Score a game-winning drive when you buy your next vehicle at Sid Dillon Chevrolet. As a Chevrolet Business Elite dealer, we offer commercial vehicles, including medium-duty trucks and low-cab forwards. Whatever vehicle fits your needs, we're here to make the purchase process easy. Visit our Chevy locations in Blair, Crete, Fremont, or Wahoo. Plus, shop our full inventory at SidDillonChevy.com. Chevy, find new roads. Hey, Husker fans, if you're looking for an exciting new career as part of your pandemic recovery, Iowa has over 75,000 job openings in industries such as healthcare, advanced manufacturing, construction, IT, and ag. IowaWorks.gov has more information about job openings, earn while you learn apprenticeships, and exciting training and scholarship opportunities. Find your next great job in Iowa. They've got a solid game plan, a bright future, and want you on their team. www.iowaworks.gov. We're back inside of our Huskers Radio Network Broadcast Center, sponsored by Acres Equipment, Nebraska's premier John Deere dealer with 27 locations across Nebraska and into Kansas. Acres Solutions for every field. I misspoke to qualify for academic All Big Ten. It's a 3.0. So Nebraska had 62 players in 2020 that had a 3.0 or better. Wow. On their football team. That's good. It's a lot. Yeah. And Rudy in Florida on our text line said, Greg and Jessica, your GPA with fans are at a minimum of 4.5. Oh, let's go. Love that. How about that? <laughs> That's a great text. And there's some guys in the chat room that are revealing their scores, right? Yes. Their we, ACT yep. scores uh, I and think stuff. we have some. Someone said a 3.5 slash 4 PFF. I don't know what that means. That's that's our Missouri fan that comes I in. I see a 1.9. Uh, <laughs> that's not that's not the best. That's crypto. Crypto's yeah, that, got that's, higher than that, surely. Um, I beat that. I will admit I beat that. But. Yeah, I beat that. I beat that. I mean, my high school one, good. I just had, took a dip the first two years of uh, college trying to figure out, hey, you got <laughs> you kind of got to study a little bit when you get to college. You can't just wing it. Yeah, that, 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 that took about uh, two months for me to figure that out. <laughs> took me two years. The first, the first round of tests came back, and I'm like, oh, boy, this is, this is not, not going. No bueno. Not going well. Uh, Garrett Nelson, one of my favorite guys. I think he's become one of your favorite guys on this football team as well. You had a chance to talk to him. He's going to be our conversation for Saturday, right? Yeah, he's absolutely fascinating. And we'll, we'll actually also turn that for the feature for, for Coach Frost show that we do every Sunday uh, in a couple of weeks. But 
What a, a yeah, just an incredible interview. He's got so many great stories. He's a good storyteller, but his dad, you know, is all American wrestler here, and he was a wrestler and kind of attributes a lot of who he is as an athlete to that and growing up and, and being in wrestling. We're going to hear more about that in the Cornhusker conversation on Saturday, but I wanted to uh, let you guys listen on, on what it's like for him just kind of being a part of, of the black shirts and, and how this group is kind of gelling right now. How much fun is it to be a part of this black shirt defense? I love these guys. I don't think I would want to play with anybody else. I mean, we're playing really well right now. Um, you know, we're playing for each other. We love each other. We're truly brothers. You know, I will, I will never forget these guys, but it's, it's blast to play with these guys every day um, and make plays. And you, you, I mean, I hope everybody sees it, how we celebrate with each other and love on each other and other people make plays. And it's, it's a blast. Yeah, it seems like every single game it's a different kind of guy that is the star of the show quote unquote but you know going through highlights and watching it's like you guys get excited for other people to make more plays and you get excited for yourselves to make yeah. plays yeah that's and you know that's why i think true love for each other comes comes in you know it's it's awesome when i make a play but when nick comes and just cracks a dude and you know makes a great play i'm more excited for him because i know how hard he worked in practice to make that play and how you know just his story and you know that's an example from nick to markel to deontay i mean, I mean everybody on the defense when they make a play I'm, I'm more excited for them than i'm when i make one or for myself is this the level of you know kind of play that you guys expected out of the black shirts when you, everybody kind of decided to come back and you thought okay we could maybe do something special this season yeah we we, ex we knew what we wanted and we knew what we expected obviously we can't we can't say that we made it you know we still want to be a truly elite defense and have that consistency every week uh, but this this is the level of play that is the standard now um, and we can't as you know a younger player on the defense and as other guys are watching we can't let that culture or standard slip it seems like most of you guys are, are saying, hey, we're not even there yet. I mean, how, what's the ceiling like for this defense? Uh, you know, the <laughs> sky's the limit, I guess, in a, in a really common term. But, uh, you know, we, in scoring defense and turnovers and sacks and, you know, categories like that, interception, turnovers, we, we want to be elite. We want to be, you know, top five, top ten in those, in those categories and um, third down percentage and things like that. But... Um, those categories that we can get become elite in and becoming more elite in is, is what we're striving for. You're a guy that is a fan favorite, and I think a lot of it is how hard you play on the football field. How would you describe how you, your play on a football field? I mean, there's, you know, everybody has the cliche like, you know, the whole world melts away when you're doing what you love. And when I'm on the field, that's the only thing that I want to do. and. You know, the only thing I think about when I'm there is with, you know, being with my guys and playing football and making plays. I mean, it's like I'm a kid every Saturday, you know, going out in the backyard and playing with my brothers. Um, it's, I, lo I love it. It's, you know, the stadium, the being an enter entertainer and with the fans and it's, you know, almost like a gladiator in a ring. You make a play and everybody just, you can feel the energy and the noise and it's, it's, it's awesome. I love it. Have you ever, I mean, have you always kind of been that like just 180 miles an hour all the time, go, go, go when you're on the field? <laughs> yeah, you're not even on the field too off the field. When I was a little kid, my dad was a, is a math, he was a math major in college and he, he's a financial guy and I would do like, hey dad, I need help on math and I would like write everything down a million miles an hour and try to do the problem really fast and he would, I mean, still this day I remember him every day like, hey, you need to slow down and like think about what, you know, you're doing or writing down and it, I was, you know, a spaz, I guess. Um, you know, I think that's because of on the field stuff, or how fast I wanted to play and how aggressive I wanted to play. Has that been something you've had to learn how to balance, though, the, the thinking about what you're doing, but then also kind of playing and doing you? Yeah, that was the a ton of people asked me before the season about, you know, what have you done to improve in the off season? I'm like, it's mostly just been mental. I mean, I'm talking to a sports psychologist and learning how to breathe and calm down and focus on, you know, what I'm doing instead of getting tunnel vision and, you know, just deer in the headlights, this is my one job and I have to do it, not seeing the whole field or the whole play. Um, or when something goes wrong, you know, telling myself to calm down and breathe through it and focus on the next play. And she, you know, Mariah's helped me a ton with that. But uh, that's probably the biggest side um, that, I've, that I've, I've tried to improve on is just the mental side of what we're doing. You, I mean, your dad was All-American wrestler here, but what, what, would your, what was your first recollection of Nebraska football? Um, Probably we were at 
uh, there's a huge construction guy named Paul Reed out in Scottsbluff, and he's one of he's our neighbor and one of our uh, best friends. And I remember being, I don't even know how little, and I would go, we would go to his house and watch the game with everybody. And I remember sitting there with, on the bench with my older brother, and uh, I just, I don't remember the game. I remember the color, the red color, and I remember, the, the, like, the excitement in my stomach because, like, oh, that, like, I was just being trained as a little kid, like, oh, the Huskers are playing. So, like, it's like a dog hearing, like, hey, you want to go on a walk? And I'd, like, get all excited. And I remember my brother looking at me, and he goes, man, I don't know what it is, but every time Nebraska plays, like, I get goosebumps and my hair stands up on my neck. And I was just looking at him, like, that is so cool. And from, I think, since then, um, just watching games at parties with families and friends um, and, you know, and feeling the energy of the room with people, how excited they were when they won and doing good things and then the sadness and disappointment when they don't and the true love and passion that, they, that fans and people have for the program. Um, I, don't even, I don't remember games specifically. I remember, I remember some parts of the, you know, like the Kenny Bell hit or Rox, the, the Rex Burkhead touchdowns and stuff like that, but just the energy and passion that people have for the sport and for the game. Uh, and for this team is probably what I remember most from being a little kid and watching the games. Obviously a, a Nebraska kid, your legacy, your dad um, did big, big things here, but you know you don't become a fan favorite just because of that. So what does it mean to you that, that uh, Husker Nation loves to watch you play, that they've embraced you so much? Uh, it's uh, <laughs> a dream, I guess. You know, I grew up in a town with more cows than people. And um, coming into a place that's known as the third largest city on a Saturday and people knowing my name and recognizing the work and effort that I put in is, you know, a dream for a kid in a, in a town that I grew up in. Um, it, yeah, it means the world. It's, re it's really cool. But, you know, that, the, my parents always told me to just, you know, don't change for anybody. Be yourself. And that's what I've done. Um, this in life, you know, and even when, you know, I get criticized or, you know, torn down or whatever, I've always tra stayed true to my colors and be who I am no matter what. So um, can't thank, from, thank them enough for doing that. And, you know, I guess the Husker Nation likes me being me. So let's go back to this Saturday in Michigan. And I mean, what's going to take for you guys to, to get a win here on Saturday? Uh, well, we saw it last weekend as just everybody doing their job and playing together, playing with the chip on their shoulder. Um, this is going to be this is going to be a bar, this is going to be a bar fight. This is going to be a physical Big Ten game. They want to run the ball. We want to stop the run. Um, we got to come out with the same mentality that we that we always do, uh, and have that chip on our shoulder and uh, play it together as a team. Yeah, you can hear much more of that uh, interview with Garrett Nelson coming up on Husker Game Day, and that is a guy that was uh, loving the third quarter going into the fourth quarter light show with the AC, ACDC right uh, the the rock music he was up there playing the air guitar and he's amped for another electric atmosphere on Saturday well, he's the one who wants to start a have a garage a garage band, band a garage yeah. band yeah he can play a little bit of guitar so he has um, a brother that's very musical that was in a band and he's trying you know he has a guitar and can play some riffs and uh, I guess picks around on it sometimes at his at his house but yeah he said his dream is to one day start a garage band wow you said that doesn't surprise you though no if you said Greg there's one guy on the team that wants to uh Start a garage, but who, who would you guess? He he would be one of <laughs> either my first or second guess would be Garrett Nelson. Yeah. So yeah, man, if you're not a fan of him already, you're gonna you, listening to that. You're even more of a fan, I think, uh, hearing him say that. Nebraska eight one one says go dig red before you dig. Always call or click eight one one to have your utility lines marked. It's free. It's easy. It's the law. To the phones we go. Shank in Omaha. You're up next. Good evening. Welcome to the program. Thank you, Greg. Hey, Jessica, guys. Hey, how's um, it going? Good. Just pumped up from that interview. And Garrett Nelson, go black shirts. Love the black shirt. The defense is the best side of the football. We've been doing great all season, pretty much. So I just want to say when we beat Michigan and we upset Michigan, we're going to storm the field and we're going to take down our own goalpost <laughs> and we're going to go big red. Love I, that. I love it. Uh, Shank. But are the goalposts drilled in now, though? Yeah, I think they're Or were hard. they just lower, you know? I, I don't. I think they're going to be hard to take down. I'm, 
I'm trying to think, and somebody's going to have to help us, and maybe somebody in the chat room or somebody can remember. I don't remember the last time the goalposts came down at Memorial Stadium. I don't. I don't remember. It hasn't been in the last 15 years. It may not have been in the last 25 years. Yeah, because it's just usually programs that are you know winning programs. They don't Kansas they don't do that. Beats one yeah. team and Kansas they take them gets down. a win anywhere against anybody. Uh, they rush the field. They do. Uh, so somebody's got to help me. I don't know the last time the goalposts came down, and I can't advocate for people to do that. I, I mean, I don't want to be the one advocating for that. So. But I can't control fans either. I don't know. I I mean, that would be an awesome scene. But I don't know if the goalposts are takedownable anymore. I, they're really, they're really. Because they normally, a lot of places where, you know, they just lower them right away. Right. At a lot of places so that, you know, if that happens, fans can't take them down. So I, I'm I don't not know. Saying, I don't know how the, I don't know how the goalposts are down there. Right. I don't either. I'm not saying he's not right that people may not try to do that if we win this game. Because this is, uh, would be a top 10 win for this program to get. But I do need some help, and I know somebody out there is going to know this. When the last time it happened here at Memorial Stadium, I just don't remember. I haven't don't. Uh, haven't seen it yet on the chat, but no. uh, I'm sure someone will let us know soon. On our text line, Doc in Lincoln, we need to clone Garrett <laughs> Nelson. Yeah, I think uh, that would be that would be good for He's, moving forward, and maybe make him like a junior in high school, so that we can keep when Garrett leaves, there's just another Garrett coming. He's in. infectious. He yeah. is. He is. I mean, it's just it, you love to watch him play. And that's what you're going to hear him talking about that, um, you know, on Saturday in the Cornhusker conversation about he said, I know that I'm not the most talented guy on the field every week, but I'm not going to be outworked. And he said, I've known that, you know, my whole life. I, and that goes back to his wrestling background. It's all a mentality thing. He knows that he's not, you know, the best guy on the field any given night he he said I'm not even the best player on this team but I'm gonna give it my all I'm gonna work my butt off every single day and I think fans and people that watch any sport I mean even maybe not even Nebraska fans watch Nebraska defense and love the way how he literally plays with his all everything you heard me ask about 180 all the time and he's had to channel that a little bit but there's a lot of guys that play like that and I think that's why this defense is so much fun to watch and why so many people have fallen in love with this black shirt the black shirt defense jim in columbus says 1992 colorado that sounds right yeah that's yeah so, and they said this here fans tore down the goalposts following nebraska's yeah. 52 to 7 win over colorado yeah. on halloween 1992. night 1992. yeah think about that that's almost 30 years well 30 years ago was the wow. last time uh that happened so 1992 colorado there you go all right i uh, need to take a break 402-413-2400. That's the number to dot us up with a comment or question or fire off a text. Time to tell you this season, share Valentino's tailgater tradition with our big red double jumbo deal and get two one-topping jumbo pizzas for only seventeen seventy-nine each. Order yours online at valentinos.com. Valentinos, the official pizza of the Huskers. Go Big Red. More of the show coming up. It's football season. Husker Nation and Famous Dave's is here to make your tailgate, house party, or get-together famous, award-winning and house-smoked St. Louis-style ribs, Texas beef brisket, Georgia chopped pork, and house-made sides like our Wilbur beans, creamy coleslaw, and Dave's cheesy mac and cheese will surely tackle any barbecue craving. Visit FamousDave's.com for all your catering and online ordering needs, or come visit us at our locations in Lincoln and Bellevue. Experience car buying your way with Woodhouse. Our team is ready to help you shop, finance, buy, and deliver your next vehicle your way. From the comfort of your home or one of our 17 dealerships, you're in the driver's seat with Woodhouse. Plus, with our selection, finding your next vehicle just got easier. From new to pre-owned, work trucks to third row SUVs, we've got something for everyone. Start shopping your way at Woodhouse.com or visit a Woodhouse dealership near you. Celebrating 50 years in the commercial real estate development industry in Omaha and nationwide, Noddle Companies is proud to continue its tradition of supporting Husker athletics. Check out what's new in Omaha, which includes revolving recreation and the food hall and Zone 6 in Exarban Village. Another exciting project coming soon are the Blackstone Urban Row townhomes. Noddle Companies, creating long-term value through community development. For more information, visit noddlecompanies.com. Go Big Red. What is HighBid.com? It's the online auction site for just about everything under the sun. 
art and antiques, cars and coins, office equipment and furniture, toys and tools. You can find it all at HighBid.com. HighBid.com gives you access to thousands of auctions across the USA and around the world. Browse the most popular auctions, search for the exact item you want, or just explore the site. Go to HighBid.com. That's H-I-B-I-D.com and find what you're looking for today. Let Shelter Insurance get you in the game this football season. The Nebraska Huskers are gearing up for another big year, and this is your chance to win tickets from Shelter Insurance and the Husker Radio Network. Contact a Nebraska Shelter agent and they'll register you for a chance to win tickets to one of four home football games this season. Only shelter agents can register you, so call, email, or drop by for your chance to win. Find an agent near you at shelterinsurance.com slash huskers and ask them to register you to win. You trained for this all year. Endless hours of cardio, conditioning, and weights. And now you are ready. Ready to trek back to your seat from the concession stand. Through the lines, lost fans, and that mascot who wants you to do a little dancey dance, all without spilling a drop of your ice cold Bud Light. Welcome back to football, sports fans. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402 413 2400 with your Husker thoughts. From sprains and stitches to sore throats and sinus infections. When it's care that can't wait, count on CHI Health Clinic Priority Care. Simply walk in seven days a week from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. You'll get the quality care you need without an appointment, and you'll never pay more than a regular primary care visit. Get in, get out, and get on with your day. Find a location near you at chihealth.com slash priority care. At Nebraska, our people will always be our greatest asset. Day by day, donors give our teams the best opportunity to compete and win through their generous donations. Our vision for the future is ambitious and requires help from those who want to see Husker Athletics excel at the highest level. Go big and join thousands of other Huskers Athletic Fund members with your gift today at huskers.com slash donate. You could win a 2021 Ford F-150 XL four-wheel drive Super Crew truck from the Woodhouse Auto family this season. If the Huskers return the first or second half opening kick for a touchdown, Woodhouse will give away an F-150. New contestants will be chosen each week. For details on how to enter the Woodhouse Auto Family Kickoff Contest and official rules, go to woodhousekickoff.com. That's woodhousekickoff.com. Walk these fields for 85 years. Grow deeper roots here. Know what thrives here. Bring in world-class genetics and innovative traits like chrome triple-stack corn hybrids and Enlist E3 soybeans. Refine it through pure local know-how and expertise. Do all of that, and the only thing left is the right seed. Hogemeyer. Learn more at therightseed.com. Here is a before winter to-do list from JTEC Construction. Let's start with windows. Triple pane window technology has saved homeowners countless dollars on heating and cooling bills. Siding serves a crucially important purpose, protecting your home and insulating it from adverse weather conditions. And don't forget about your roof. Designing your roof should be simple and painless, and JTEC offers several payment plan options. One more thing on your to-do list called JTEC Construction, the official exterior experts of the Huskers. Addy Sports Bar and Grill is the place to watch Nebraska games this season. Locally owned and operated, Addy's is Omaha's premier sports bar with four locations in Elkhorn, Maple Street, Millard, and the new flagship Capital location in downtown Omaha. If it's Husker game day, it's on at Addy's. Addy's Sports Bar and Grill is Omaha's official watch party spot with game day giveaways, prizes, fun and more surprises later in the season at a sports bar and grill see you there for the game our sports timely hotline brought to you by the woodhouse auto family shop woodhouse first 18 brands 16 convenient locations simplified car buying to save you time shop finance and buy online at woodhouse.com greg sharp jessica cootie with you 
here on a Wednesday night, you never know when you, you walk into the studio to do a show what topic you might get into. And we <laughs> kind of turned this one into the goalpost night. There are people are fighting back and forth. There's we've 92 Colorado, but, oh, that was only one goalpost came down. 78 Oklahoma, they both came down. we got some people that are convinced it was 93 Oklahoma. It's 93. I just found it on YouTube. All right, so 93 Oklahoma. There's your updated one. The, the goalposts are coming down, so... 21-7, Nebraska beats Oklahoma, and they're coming down right now. All right, so there you go. All right, if you want to be a part of this or debate this, 402-413-2400. <laughs> Let's uh, go to the phones. I'll go out to York and Jack. Good evening, Jack. How are you? I'm doing quite well, Greg, and this is not about goalposts. <laughs> no, very good. That's fine. But, um, last week, my wife and I were at the game, and we were listening to you and Matt on the coverage. And uh, we found it a little bit unusual that the, your play-by-play -play was about five seconds behind what we were watching on the field, which is unusual for uh, the TV setup when you're when you're a play ahead. And I just I just wondered if you knew about that and what the problem was. Now, were you? Do you remember what station you were listening to, Jack? Well, um, yeah, five ninety. Okay. All right, okay, What well, we're distributing the games a little differently this year, and I'll get into that in a second. But if you're at the games, we have a low broadcast signal that you will sync it right up. It's 87.7 FM, 87.7 FM. So tune your radio okay. if you're in the stadium to that, and you will pick up the live broadcast. So that, that should help you. Is that okay, Jack? Oh, yeah, because you know, sometimes it's exciting to know what's happened yep. ahead of time when you're watching it on TV, but... Uh, this was a little unusual. Right. Well, we'll, uh, we'll get escorted away next time. 87.7, and we take that on the road, too. So if you're going to Minneapolis next week, we'll have the same setup, 87.7. You can listen to that. Jack, good to hear from you. Appreciate it. We are distributing games not via satellite anymore, but through a digital service. That's why a lot of delays have happened. But you said there's an app people can download to sync it up with whatever TV broadcast. Yeah, we, we had a question, I think, text in a couple of weeks ago or last week with uh, Trev Albert's show. And there is, there's an app. It's uh, Radio Sync. So you can go to the App Store and download that app. And I know a lot of people use it, and I don't know how it works but maybe i'll i'll try it and see if i you know if i can walk people through it i can but uh then you can sync it up that way and that will help you where because there's a lot of people that would rather listen to the the home te the home team right. radio broadcast than the tv broadcast so they, there is an app they they create of course there's an app for everything so they created an app for that so it's radio sync on the app store and that should help you uh you know sync up the radio call with the tv Irvin Scatter on our text line said, here is what impresses me on how this team acts after a big player TD. They act like they've been there before. I hope the fans do the same thing because we have. I'm really proud of this team. Irv, I agree with you. That's good. And now we have a debate of 94 Colorado is where the goalposts go down to. So oh, you may have me, to go search okay, that. Okay, let me Google. Let me go, Google. Go search that one as well. Let's go to Columbus next. And Charlie, hello, Charlie. You're, you're on Sports Nightly. Charlie, you're Thanks for taking my call. Yes. Yeah. Can you hear me? We got you. Hello? Yeah, uh, thanks for taking my call. You bet. Um, I just wanted to talk just a little bit about how great the defense is playing. And um, they're doing great, right? And these are the uh, super seniors that are, you know, they came back and they're having a great season so far. And I just was curious about your comments about, you know, what happens if one of those guys goes down, for instance, or – you know, who, who do we have coming up that's going to, you know, take their place? All right, thanks. I'll hang up and listen to you. Okay. Your yeah, appreciate the call. Oh, I think there's some really good young defenders in the program. I, I think that they're really excited about Isaac Gifford. I think they feel like he could be JoJo Doman 2.0. Uh, Marquise Buford is a really talented defensive back who – They've burned his red shirt. He's played in all six games at this point in time on special teams, a little bit on defense. They think he's going to be a tremendous defensive back. We've seen quite a bit of Miles Farmer this year rotating with the two senior safeties in Dismuke and, and Deontay Williams. They've not, they, they're have not. they really high on, on the puller bear. He just can't crack them in the top five rotation of the defensive line because those guys are really good. So I think they've, they feel like they've got a lot of people waiting in the wings on defense. Yeah, and then you look at some of the big playmakers. Luke Luke Reimer's a sophomore. Garrett yeah, Nelson. They're is, young. What is Garrett? Is Garrett Same officially thing. a sophomore? Yep. Yeah. So um, you got a lot of guys that are um, making big-time plays right now that are going to be coming back for at least uh, another year, maybe two or three. Or three, yep. right. 
Uh, you know, Ty Robinson's not an old guy. Casey Rogers is not an old guy. Those are all sophomores. Yeah, Those are all K- under- yeah sophomore. Casey Rogers is a sophomore. Right. Those are all underclassmen right. that are going to be. Uh, so, I, you know, if you want to, and I'm not ready to look ahead to 2022, but you start to do that, and, and that defense I don't think is going to lose a beat uh, from the guys that, that are will not be back uh, for this team uh, coming up next year. Buckle up, put that phone down, a reminder from the NDOT Highway Safety Office. You are efforting the 94 Colorado game now? Yeah, I'm I'm to the end of the game, but I can't. I think the when they show the wide shot, it definitely looks like the goalposts are down, but I don't know. It, they don't take a shot of the crowd actually <laughs> sitting on the goalposts, but they were the crowd definitely rushed the field. When was the last time the crowd rushed the field? rush the field yeah, it might be that I yeah. just, it hasn't happened in the last 15 years so. so i mean they'll take a wide shot here and you you can't see the goalpost but again at some point they implemented goalposts that could not be Co- torn down there were some that were like collapsible yeah they just that like, you pfft. can look just lower which is i think is what most football fields have now for that very instant so you don't have to like because otherwise if you have a quick turnaround for a game how do you quickly get two more goalposts to install them. yeah the great goalposts. See, goal look, it looks like they're, they're down. Yeah. So, but did they take them down or did the that's what event I can't staff see. collapse them and so, haul them off the field? That would be another Google <laughs> question. When were retractable goalposts uh, right. invented yeah. and implemented? Oh, the great goalpost debate of, debate of sports nightly. This, <laughs> this is good stuff. All right, need to step aside, get our final break. If you have more thoughts, love them. Keep them coming. 402-413-2400 with a call or a text. Back with more here in Hour 1 next. Inspired by the legendary coach Tom Osborne, Nebraska Athletics is proud to introduce the 255 Collection. With the mission to connect style with Nebraska pride, 255 was designed with the fan in mind. With high quality at the forefront, 255 can be worn anywhere, from sporting events and business meetings to backyard get-togethers. No matter the occasion, 255 is about feeling confident, looking good, and celebrating the remarkable coaching career of Tom Osborne. Shop now at Huskers.com or participating retailers. For more information, visit Huskers.com slash 255. Walk these fields for 85 years. Grow deeper roots here. Know what thrives here. Bring in world-class genetics and innovative traits like chrome triple stack corn hybrids and Enlist E3 soybeans. Refine it through pure local know-how and expertise. Do all of that and the only thing left is the right seed. Hogemeyer. Learn more at therightseed.com. From vintage sneakers to bacon-scented soap to water fountains for your pet, all can be had with a few simple clicks. Problem is, you never really know what you're going to get until they show up at your door. Introducing Ford Blue Advantage. It's used car buying that's built for you. Not only can you shop for used vehicles online, in person, or both, you can also test drive before you buy, so you know exactly what you're getting. Plus, get history reports, vehicle inspections, Ford warranties, and the expertise of factory-trained techs. Visit FordBlueAdvantage.com today. Valley 365 is here, and the time is now to take your farming technology full circle. Valley 365 is the ultimate command center, the new single sign-on platform that brings together our tried and true technology and streamlines your entire operation. Combining the best features of AgSense, Valley Scheduling, Valley VRI, and Valley Insights, Valley 365 is the next-level solution for connected crop management. Leverage your data, make the most of your time, and own your tomorrow. Contact your Valley dealer today. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. Celebrating 50 years in the commercial real estate development industry in Omaha and nationwide, Noddle Companies is proud to continue its tradition of supporting Husker athletics. Check out what's new in Omaha, which includes revolving recreation and the food hall at Zone 6 in Exarbon Village. Another exciting project coming soon are the Blackstone Urban Row townhomes. Noddle Companies, creating long-term value through community development. For more information, visit noddlecompanies.com. Go Big Red. It's game on at Sid Dillon Buick GMC Cadillac in Fremont. Featuring our winning combination of Buick SUVs and GMC trucks and SUVs. And as a GMC business elite dealer, we offer commercial vehicles for your business needs. For the convenient and easy way to shop for your next vehicle, just visit our Fremont location. Or check out our full inventory at SidDillonBuickGMC.com. You are what drives us. Dylan. We are professional grade. Back inside our Huskers Radio Network Broadcast Center, sponsored by Acres Equipment, Nebraska's premier John Deere dealer with 27 locations across Nebraska and into Kansas. Acres 
solutions for every field. Phone lines are open for you, 402-413-2400. Call or text. Let's uh, stay in Lincoln and chat next with Sherry. Good evening, Sherry. Welcome to the program. Good evening, Greg. Thank you for having me. I wanted to share a quick story, um, a goalpost story, if you will. Um, back in the 80s, probably mid-80s, it was OU versus NU in Lincoln. And we had won. It was a barn burner of a game, and it was a heck of a day. And, of course, you know, back in those days, everybody would head down to the sidetrack after the game <laughs> and have one or two upside-down margaritas. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, oh, probably about five or six fellas, probably, oh, 30, 45 minutes after the game, five or six fellas come walking in with part of the goalpost into the sidetrack and of course the whole crowd goes crazy you know they're up on the stage with joyce and john oh, joyce. and everybody's just having a great time and of course joyce belts out you know there is no place yep. like nebraska song and uh it was just a great memory and a great day very good i'm glad you awesome. mentioned joyce god bless her heart as she passed away here in the last year amen yeah sherry thank you so much for sharing that i appreciate that all right. Have a good night. Thanks, Thanks for calling. Let's uh, head to Omaha. Tom's up next on Sports Island. Good evening, Tom. Hello. Hi, Tom. Hi. Uh, I've got a goalpost story for you. Yes. Keep them coming. <laughs> uh, my, son, my son got married in Columbia. And the night before the wedding, there's a place in Columbia called Harpo's, which is kind of a big hangout. For Missouri fans, and the wedding, you know, some of the wedding people were in there. You know, a few of us were in Nebraska gear, and it took us 45 minutes to get waited on. And as we're in there, and you know, we said, "Should we leave?" We noticed up above the bar at Harpo's, you know, the goalpost from that game that the first time Nebraska beat Missouri. I can't remember the year, but it's when the when the kid got punched. Anyway, they were giving us a hard time about it. You know, we went back and forth. We said, well, where are your national championship banners? Oh, you don't have any. <laughs> and some of the younger guys started coming in, and they kind of decided that maybe we should take that goalpost back. And about that time, some of us old guys got out of there. I don't know how it turned out, but but nothing good was going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Hey, Tom, appreciate it. Thanks so much for sharing that with us. We've got about a minute left in the hour. Let's quickly plug in to Troy and Curtis. Good evening, Troy. You're on Sports On. i got about a minute left. All right. Thanks for having me. Um, in 94, the goalpost did come down. My brother got married in the Colorado game. My brother got married in downtown Lincoln. And when we were coming out of the church, the goalposts were going by the church. Oh, is that right? And they were on their way to the Capitol. <laughs> they were on their way to the Capitol, and they went over and got pictures with the goalposts. That's amazing. So, <laughs> That's great. We were watching the game on the corner before on three-inch TVs with corn heads on and tuxes before the game, before the wedding started, but then third and fourth quarter, the pastor made us take our earpieces out and <laughs> be involved in the wedding. That's great. What? Like, can you imagine being at a church and just seeing the goalposts yeah. just going on by? That is fantastic. <laughs> Love those stories. Thank you, everybody, for uh, sharing some of those with us. You want to do that, you can do that on the other side. Hey, go visit a participating ag code dealer between now and November 12th, and you can get entered for a chance to win a pair of tickets to the Huskers matchup with Iowa on Black Friday. That will include some tailgate passes. Go see participating ag code locations across Nebraska. You could be a winner this season. John Rostein, our Big Ten Blitz. More goalpost stories. Yeah, more goalposts. Coming up on the other side. Come on back. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. You could win a 2021 Ford F-150 XL four-wheel drive Super Crew truck from the Woodhouse Auto family this season. 
If the Huskers return the first or second half opening kick for a touchdown, Woodhouse will give away an F-150. New contestants will be chosen each week. For details on how to enter the Woodhouse Auto Family Kickoff Contest and official rules, go to woodhousekickoff.com. That's woodhousekickoff.com. Addy Sports Bar and Grill is the place to watch Nebraska games this season. Locally owned and operated, Addy's is Omaha's premier sports bar with four locations in Elkhorn, Maple Street, Millard, and the new flagship Capital location in downtown Omaha. If it's Husker game day, it's on at Addy's. Addy Sports Bar and Grill is Omaha's official watch party spot with game day giveaways, prizes, fun, and more surprises later in the season. Addy Sports Bar and Grill. See you there for the game. Hey, Husker fans, if you're looking for an exciting new career as part of your pandemic recovery, Iowa has over 75,000 job openings in industries such as healthcare, advanced manufacturing, construction, IT, and ag. IowaWorks.gov has more information about job openings, earn while you learn apprenticeships, and exciting training and scholarship opportunities. Find your next great job in Iowa. They've got a solid game plan, a bright future, and want you on their team. www.iowaworks.gov Great job, everyone. Printers, great coverage. Phones, quick pickups, firewall, tough defense, and network, way to carry the whole team. Ever since Marco started calling our technology plays, we work smarter and our whole game is more streamlined. Marco's all-star services and support give us the winning edge. Find out what your technology could be saying at marconet.com.
And welcome inside the Acres Broadcast Center. I'm Tim Mulhaupt, and this is your Sports Nightly Ticker. Huskers football announced today that senior defensive lineman Ben Stilley is their senior class award candidate. The senior class award focuses on the total student athlete and encourages students to use their platform in athletics to make positive impacts as leaders in their communities. Stilley has earned five appointments to both the Brooke Beringer and Tom Osborne citizenship teams for his work in local Nebraska communities. Stilley is one of 30 senior class award nominees across the country. Huskers women's golf continues to rack up awards as sophomore Michaela Vavrova was named Big Ten Women's Golfer of the Week. Vavrova won an individual championship at the Stampede at the Creek in Elkhorn, Nebraska this weekend with scores of 74, 71, and 72 over three rounds, taking home the championship by four strokes. Vavrova is already the third Huskers women's golfer to win the weekly award this season, joining Nicole Hansen and Lindsey Thiel. The Huskers also received some praise today from the NFL as Buffalo Bills quarterback Josh Allen referenced Memorial Stadium when asked about some of the hardest places he's ever had to play in his young career. Elsewhere in the NFL, the Carolina Panthers made headlines this morning when they traded a sixth round pick to New England to acquire former defensive player of the year and shut down cornerback Stefan Gilmore. At baseball tonight, the MLB playoffs continue as the St. Louis Cardinals travel to LA to take on the defending champion Dodgers. Journeyman Adam Wainwright takes the bump against former Cy Young Max Scherzer, and that's getting started in just about five minutes here at 7.10 p.m. Central. That's the ticker. I'm Tim Mulhelpt, and this is Sports Nightly on the Huskers Radio Network. Coming to you live from Memorial Stadium, it's Sports Nightly. All the Huskers, all the time. Sports Nightly is presented by the NGOT Highway Safety Office, who reminds you to buckle up and put the phone down. Pass by Kenzie Knuckles, Jack back the slide. We're done. Warren Stivers, 25 to 20, the verdict. Stivers with the finish, and the teams wave at each other. Second down and 10. Snap back. Give it off to Yant, right side. Jack West to the 35. Nice move. 40, 45, 50, 45, 40. Run, big fella. 30, 25, 20. Stiff army, the guy. 10 to the 5. He's out of bounds at the 4 yard line. Jack West, Yant. We love you in Lincoln. Are your hosts, Greg Sharp and Jessica Cootie on the Huskers Radio Network. Here we are. We're back. Hour two. I love last hour. The goalpost <laughs> chatter. Uh, Nate Rohr, who's kind of a Husker encyclopedia, says, Jessica, it was 95 Oklahoma. So, wow, I, And so somebody we... else mentioned that. I can't remember. So, so we, 95. We've gone from 78 to 92, 92 93, 93, 94. 93, 94, 94. So it was kind of happening every year there for a yeah. stretch. So uh, there we go. That's what's going to happen. I, I love some stuff that we've gotten also in the last, uh, some of the texts. Stephen Bellevue says, why would anyone schedule a wedding on a Husker Saturday? <laughs> That's great. Yeah, I don't know why anybody schedules <laughs> any weddings in, in the fall unless it's a bye week. And that's what people do. They wait and find out the schedule, find out the bye weeks. This year we have two, so that's that's really opened up some dates for people to do that. And then they want to know kick times. Well, what about kick times? Well, a lot of times we don't get them until it's way, way past uh, that point in time. Also, to me, the, the, the response of the night goes to Husker is number one in our <laughs> chat room. We were talking about GPAs and how Nebraska's had the third most academic all Big Ten football players for the last six years. Oscar's number one said, I was around a 3.0 average GPA when I was in college, but I was a 4.0 at P.O. Pairs, <laughs> which no longer exists, but I remember P.O. Pairs. So, yeah, good, good for that. That's a great, that's a great line right Can there. Can you imagine, like, someone, hey, you know, how'd the show go? What'd you talk about? Oh, GPAs and goalposts. <laughs> GPAs and goalposts. <laughs> Uh, we have some college students that are doing a project on Sports Island, and they're like, what's, what's the topic of the show tonight? I'm like, yeah, I'm really not sure. We'll Name a better duo, GPAs and goalposts. <laughs> yeah, how about there? <laughs> what an education uh, we did for that. Uh, we had a big hour coming up. We've got John Rostein, who Jessica caught up with last week when he was in town to MC the opening night of Husker basketball last week that was headlined uh, by Andrew on stage with G Herbo. And, and so we're going to hear from John here <laughs> in a little bit. We're also going to spin around the league. It's, it's blitz night. We're going to hear what's happening uh, with games coming up with Oklahoma or with Michigan State, Illinois, and Penn State's matchup for this weekend. Looking forward to that coming up in here a few minutes. Yeah, it's a busy hour. Busy hour. I think just everybody... You know, th those are monumental games when the goalpost comes down. They and are. when you are in, so invested into a team, everybody remembers that so vividly. I mean, it's just those goalpost games a lot of times stick out and in your memories a little bit clearer than some of the other ones. Love the story about 
at a wedding. We're taking pictures <laughs> of the Capitol, and here came the goalposts marching that by the Capitol. That is awesome. That is fantastic. I stuff. wonder if, like, who has the job? Hey, go, go chase down the goalposts. Bring it back. Somebody has to. <laughs> Somebody has to. Uh, tomorrow, big day in Indianapolis. It's Big Ten Media Day for basketball. BTM will have full coverage during the morning if you want to tune into that. All the coaches are half the league's coaches there tomorrow. The other half is on Friday. The Nebraska, the Nebraska coaches, Fred Hoiberg and Amy Williams, are tomorrow. I believe it's around 1030 Central Time. We, you can catch their remarks tomorrow. Uh, so they have, I know the planes left earlier today to take them back to Indianapolis. So they're back there representing that. I know there was a media poll that came out today for Big Ten basketball. It's not that far away. Um, and, and a lot of excitement around here for both the men's and women's teams. I think they're both going to be a lot of fun to follow and watch as we make our way into the season. You saw kind of a snapshot of it last Friday when they were out there shooting threes and scrimmaging for a little bit. Oh, yeah. There uh, wasn't a whole lot of defense being played, but, again, I think that was by design. Absolutely. Because, of course, everybody loves to see those scoreboard numbers go up and up and up. But, yeah, John Rothstein, Rothstein, who is a college basketball insider, came to host the event, MC the event, and, you know, he's all in across every single year, knows all the ins and outs of what, what to expect for college basketball. So uh, got a chance to chat with him after the event and get his thoughts on the event, but also what to maybe look forward to this, this upcoming season. Opening night scrimmage, and how about this crowd tonight? Incredible crowd, incredible atmosphere, and it's going to take this type of a regular atmosphere for Nebraska to get over the hump in the Big Ten. Yeah, what did you see out of this team here tonight? Tremendous offensive potential. The talent base is vastly improved, and the shot-making ability is vastly improved. I think the million-dollar question is, though, can Nebraska be a competent defensive team? That'll be the biggest key to this season. How about Casey out here putting on a show? He will be in bold print on social media by Christmas. That is a quote. Okay, I like that. What about Coach Hoiberg and, and the way he's kind of trying to turn things around? You can feel the excitement around this program right now. Well, again, it takes time, obviously, to get the talent based in the program to where you hope to have it. But I also think another thing is the Big Ten has been the best conference top to bottom the last couple of years. As of now, it looks like there's a window of opportunity to climb. We'll see if Nebraska can take advantage of that opportunity. Yeah, I was going to ask you to kind of give us a little preseason pr- breakdown of the Big Ten. Is it you feel like it's going to be the best league again in, in college basketball? Well, I think Michigan, Purdue, and I would say Illinois as well are all going to be top 10 to top 15 teams to start the season. You know, Illinois is going to have two of the top 15 players in the country in Kofi Coburn and Andre Corbello. Ohio State and Maryland and Michigan State should also be NCAA tournament teams. And then Rutgers as well, but that 8 to 10 spot is open, and if you're good enough to be in that range, you're good enough to be on the bubble for the NCAA tournament. And what about just overall? Who, what teams are you kind of looking at to maybe make some noise in, in all of college basketball? You know, I would say the five that I have at the top would probably be Gonzaga, UCLA, Villanova, Kansas, and Texas, but Purdue to me is due for a special season. This will be as good of a chance as Purdue has had to go to a Final Four under Matt Painter. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. So uh, good information there. Uh, thanks for to John for spending some time with us. He was trying to get out the door, I think, and, and head elsewhere. But um, you heard him talking about the Big Ten, and that's the thing about playing in a conference like this. Even if you take your lumps and lose, you know, half your games, you're still going to be right there in the conversation to get in the NCAA tournament. I'm with him on Purdue. In fact, the media poll that came out today, Purdue and Michigan were one and two, and I think that's probably accurate. It's just, it's a battle. And to play 20 league games, it's, it's, I mean, that just wears you down as you make your way through that. It gives you 11 out of conference games. It's a little bit like volleyball. We got that on in studio tonight. Wisconsin's being pushed by Iowa, who's at the bottom of the barrel. But it's just, it's tough. John Cook was talking about it again last night because somebody said, oh, you just, you just beat Northwestern. Because Northwestern took Minnesota to five. And it's hard. This conference is unforgiving, really, and across the board in all the sports. Yeah, as far as uh, basketball goes, I mean, I, it's that's why it's going to be so important for PVA to really give them a huge advantage because you always talk about you got to you know protect your home court, steal a couple on the road, and so it's going to be massive because they're going to go into some really tough places where basically yeah. teams don't lose at home right. so you're basically you know when you go on the road in the big 10 a lot of times you're a lot of places you're going to walk out with an l so you have to protect your home court and so that's why you know they're 
trying to build up the excitement around this team. Hey, you know, get the season tickets, but not just come to the game. Come and be loud and support these teams. Both teams, uh, you know, need that need that support because they need that, you know, uh, atmosphere inside PBA. I will say this, though. The men's schedule, the non-conference, is set up nicely for them to have a Agreed. really good record going into Big Ten. Agreed. But they'll be challenged. There's enough games in there that will get a feel Creighton is always obviously a battle. At least that's a home. Auburn's a really good test. That'll be a neutral site game in Atlanta. Kansas State here will be a good ch- a test. So there's enough games in that non-com, but I do think we'll have a nice record coming out of the non-conference. I do too, and, and a couple of those that you just mentioned. Uh, Auburn's in Georgia, right? right. But it's neutral. not at Auburn. It's, nope, neutral. And then the I think t- the only true road game is North Carolina State. Yeah, in the so the, you get those two here in, in Lincoln. That's, that's going to be massive for them. Going to be fun. And again, uh, t- tomorrow's media day in Indianapolis. The Huskers go tomorrow. The other half of the league goes on Friday. So there'll be some information that pops out for Husker basketball can, tomorrow. Gonzaga, how are they back at the top? I mean, it's like great program. I know, yeah. but it's they just freaking got how many people drafted and didn't win it though. No, Bader pulled the, pulled the rug out from underneath them at the, at the end of that. So yeah, it'll be here, folks. Before you know it, uh, looking forward to that. Good to hear John Rock. He's a great follow on Twitter. If you love college basketball, you need to follow him. He's got a lot of great information, and he's got good contacts within the Husker program. So he's pretty up up on what's going on with yeah, that, Husker basketball. And that, again, that was part of that recruiting pitch because he is a big name in yep. college basketball. While maybe, you know, if you are just an overall sports fan, you might not have heard about him, but most college basketball, people that follow college basketball have heard of him. And, you know, that kind of played into the whole atmosphere of, hey, this is big time college basketball. It's showing those recruits, hey, look what we got here in Lincoln. One of the biggest differences when Nebraska made the change from Big 12 to Big 10 in basketball Rarely do you play in front of many empty seats. Where in the Big 12, Texas Tech doesn't draw really well. Oklahoma doesn't really draw really well. No. Texas Tech does now since they went to the Final Four. They do. They are better now. But at that time, they weren't. Yeah. It was be half full if that. Bader doesn't draw well, even with a great team. TCU is just okay. Uh, So this league, though, everywhere you go, you don't find many empty seats. It's it's a really – and that goes to your point – you got to protect your home court because it's going to be hard to win on the road. Yeah, I mean, it's when you you're looking at, you know, half your games on the road, half your games at home. It's uh, almost impossible to win at mm-hmm. some of these places on the road. Now you can obviously pull an upset and sneak a few here or there, but there are a lot of teams that go unbeaten on their home court, and so you you have got to match that with your home court advantage. Nebraska eight one one says go dig red before you dig. Always call or click eight one one to have. Your utility line's marked. It's free. It's easy. It's the law. We're back with the Blitz coming up next. A DUI is everything you didn't prepare for. You did not save for it. You did not train for it. You did not go to school for it. You did not raise your family or buy a house or get a job for it. It is not your life goal or a dream come true. You have planned for everything in your life. You did not plan for a DUI. Get a ride. A DUI costs more than you think. Brought to you by the NDOT Highway Safety Office. Today's play of the day comes from Nebraska. We pick it up with the local sports announcer at a Nebraska Lottery retailer. Dave enters the store. He makes a move to the checkout counter. Looks like he's going to pass. Yes, he's passing the clerk a few dollars. The clerk takes the handoff and spins around. It looks like he's placed the scratch tickets on the counter. And now Dave has them in his hand. It's the old scratch He scratches left. He scratches right. Oh, my. He's done it. Dave has scored a bundle of cash. Play is good. Go play. Odds vary by game. At Subaru, they love building vehicles for those who pack a lot into life. The redesigned 2021 Crosstrek is their way of saying more power to you. An upgrade in horsepower means you have a world of fun and adventure waiting for you. And the Crosstrek comes with standard symmetrical all-wheel drive. Love, it's what makes Subaru, Subaru. Visit Deteau Subaru at 27th Street and Jamie Lane in Lincoln or at DeteauSubaru.com. Upgraded horsepower available on select models. Celebrating 50 years in the commercial real estate development industry in Omaha and nationwide, Noddle Companies is proud to continue its tradition of supporting Husker athletics. Check out what's new in Omaha, which includes revolving recreation and the food hall at Zone 6 in Exarbon Village. Another exciting project coming soon are the Blackstone Urban Road townhomes. Noddle Companies, creating long-term value through community development. For more information, visit noddlecompanies.com. 
Go Big Red. Nebraskans are choosing chiropractic for better health. Why chiropractic? Because it is safe, drug-free, and a cost-effective treatment option for back and joint pain. Plus, all generations can benefit from natural chiropractic care. Choose chiropractic first for pain relief, nutrition, or to improve your mobility, athletic performance, or overall wellness. Make chiropractic your first choice for better health. Find a chiropractic physician near you at nebraskachiropractic.org. Get your life back with chiropractic you always dreamed of owning your own farm now you're living your dream and it's time to pick the tractor that makes it all come together massey ferguson has reinvented what compact and utility tractors can be and redefined what they do making them easier to operate more comfortable to drive more versatile than ever massey ferguson gives nebraska farmers the power and performance to win in the field MERS Farm Equipment in Falls City, Nebraska. www.mersfarmequipment.com. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. Score a game-winning drive when you buy your next vehicle at Sid Dillon Chevrolet. As a Chevrolet Business Elite dealer, we offer commercial vehicles, including medium-duty trucks and low-cab forwards. Whatever vehicle fits your needs, we're here to make the purchase process easy. Visit our Chevy locations in Blair, Crete, Fremont, or Wahoo. Plus, shop our full inventory at SidDillonChevy.com. You are what drives us. Chevy, find new roads. Addy Sports Bar and Grill is the place to watch Nebraska games this season. Locally owned and operated, Addy's is Omaha's premier sports bar with four locations in Elkhorn, Maple Street, Millard, and the new flagship Capital location in downtown Omaha. If it's Husker game day, it's on at Addy's. Addy Sports Bar and Grill is Omaha's official watch party spot with game day giveaways, prizes, fun, and more surprises later in the season. Addy Sports Bar and Grill. See you there for the game. From vintage sneakers to bacon scented soap to water fountains for your pet, all can be had with a few simple clicks. Problem is, you never really know what you're going to get until they show up at your door. Introducing Ford Blue Advantage. It's used car buying that's built for you. Not only can you shop for used vehicles online, in person, or both, you can also test drive before you buy, so you know exactly what you're getting. Plus, get history reports, vehicle inspections, Ford warranties, and the expertise of factory trained techs. Visit FordBlueAdvantage.com today. Hey, Husker fans, if you're looking for an exciting new career as part of your pandemic recovery, Iowa has over 75,000 job openings in industries such as healthcare, advanced manufacturing, construction, IT, and ag. IowaWorks.gov has more information about job openings, earn while you learn apprenticeships, and exciting training and scholarship opportunities. Find your next great job in Iowa. Iowa. They've got a solid game plan, a bright future, and want you on their team. www.iowaworks.gov. Celebrating 50 years in the commercial real estate development industry in Omaha and nationwide, Noddle Companies is proud to continue its tradition of supporting Husker athletics. Check out what's new in Omaha, which includes revolving recreation and the food hall and Zone 6 in Exarbon Village. Another exciting project coming soon are the Blackstone Urban Row townhomes. Noddle Companies, creating long-term value through community development. For more information, visit noddlecompanies.com. Go Big Red. Addy Sports Bar and Grill is the place to watch Nebraska games this season. Locally owned and operated, Addy's is Omaha's premier sports bar with four locations in Elkhorn, Maple Street, Millard, and the new flagship Capital location in downtown Omaha. If it's Husker game day, it's on at Addy's. Addy Sports Bar and Grill is Omaha's official watch party spot with game day giveaways, prizes, fun, and more surprises later in the season. Addy Sports Bar and Grill. See you there for the game. Back in our Huskers Radio Network Broadcast Center, sponsored by Acres Equipment, Nebraska's premier John Deere dealer with 27 locations across Nebraska and into Kansas, Acres Solutions for every field. Wednesday night, midweek, getting ready for another college football weekend. Time for us to take a little spin around the Big Ten. Big Ten Blitz, Michigan State. And here to talk about the Spartans, Hondo Carpenter of Spartan Nation. And this may be painful for Husker fans to listen to, Hondo. They haven't, re- they haven't recovered from that game a couple weeks ago. That was a good win for Michigan State, but a missed opportunity for Nebraska. Yeah, and, you know, I'm going to give 
say this. I think it was a game Nebraska lost. I don't necessarily think Michigan State won it. Yep. And, I mean, obviously they did, and you don't apologize for a win. It was a great win for the Spartans. But, I, I mean, I think everything I said on your show came true. And uh, the, the Huskers just down the end lost that football game. Now, listen, I'm not in any way mocking Michigan State. Mel Tucker's done a tremendous job. It was a great win. Good teams find a way to win when they're not playing well. And Michigan State found a way to win a game when they weren't playing well. So kudos to them. But, yeah, I can see why they're still licking their wounds from that one. Yeah. All right, Spartans 5-0. and I don't remember what the over-under was, Hondo, but they got to be quickly, if not already, jumping over that. People have to really like what they see so far from this team. You have to absolutely love what Mel Tucker has done. You may remember I said earlier in the year on your show, he has brought a SEC mentality to this team. And normally this Rutgers game would have been a trap game for Michigan State. No, and not anymore. He totally has them focused on just the next game. Do your job. You can tell that he's coached with Saban. He takes the Saban approach. And this is a dangerous game for Michigan State. I think Rutgers is better than people think they are. Uh, They got blown out by Ohio State but played Michigan super close. I think their pride has been hurt a little bit. But, man, is Michigan State on a roll or what headed out to Piscataway? Last year's when these two teams met, I think it was the turnover bug just absolutely bit the Spartans. Is this a case, Hondo, if they don't turn the ball over, they're probably okay in this matchup, or is it more more complicated than that? No, I'm going to be very blunt with you. This is a game where Michigan State, if they lose this game, the title of the story is going to be Spartans lose, not Rutgers wins. Michigan State's better than them. They're sounder than them. They're, I think, top to bottom better coached than Rutgers. And this is a game that they should win. It's one that I expect them to win. But if Michigan State loses this, it's going to be because they helped Rutgers. Rutgers is not in a position to beat them without the Spartans' help. You mentioned trap game, and I, I, I agree with that in some ways. I know that they may not, that may not be the way it plays out, but the big games are still to come, right? Michigan, Ohio State, Penn State, all those are still ahead for this team to, to deal with. Well, there's no bigger game on the schedule at Michigan State, whether it was 100 years ago or 100, days in the, 100 years in the future than the Michigan game. But Mel Tucker has you know, gone to this team and said, listen, it does us no good if we beat Michigan but lose to a Rutgers. Keep your focus on Rutgers. Just keep it right there. This team is overachieved, but because of his Saban approach, which he's done since he got on campus, these kids have bought in on him. And, man, has it paid off in recruiting, looking at recruiting already for next year. And these guys, so it's a trap game, meaning it's a team they should beat, but any letdown they won't. But the way Mel Tucker has them rolling, I I don't see the Spartans beating themselves this weekend. 11th ranked Michigan State, undefeated 5 0 at Rutgers. It's 11 o'clock Central on BTN. Hondo Carpenter of Spartan Nation. Hondo, as always, we appreciate it. Thank you, my friend. Big Ten Blitz, Illinois. And here to talk about the Illini, Steve Kelly of the Illinois Network. Illinois got their second win of the year, beating Charlotte last week, 24 14. How was that game? Tell me a little bit about it. That was a game that Illinois had to have, Greg, uh, no doubt about it. And Charlotte came in with a 3-1 and one record and not a bad football team. They moved the ball pretty well. Actually, they led 14-10 to 10 over Illinois at halftime, and the Illini made some defensive adjustments and shut them out uh, pretty much in the uh, second half. And, uh, and uh, actually, did shut them out in the second half and went on to win that game by 10. So, Brett Bielma afterwards said, uh, you know, it's a nice win, but uh, we didn't come here to beat Charlotte. We came here to win Big Ten games, and... We uh, tried to treat this like a Big Ten game, and now they've got one uh, coming up this week with Wisconsin. Well, let's talk about that because this one certainly has attention because of the Bielma factor, the former head coach at, at Wisconsin, now at Illinois. How much how much chatter's been about that storyline all week long? Well, about uh, from us media types, a lot. But uh, from him, not a whole lot. He, he said, look, I, I know I'm going to get the question. I spent <laughs> some uh, good years there. And I, I get the question. If I was in your position, I'd ask the same question. But he said, we got to prepare for this game like it's another Big Ten game, which it is. He said, I have the utmost respect for what has been built at Wisconsin. And that is one of the programs that when I think about getting Illinois to a certain level, that's one that I, I kind of uh, look at as a model. They in Iowa 
and the other ones in the West, Nebraska, and he, he um, so he gets it. it. Ironically, he's sitting on 99 career wins as a head coach, and uh, wouldn't that be kind of uh, ironic if he got number 100 against the Badgers? The Badgers, Steve, struggling offensively. What, what do you see as you look at this matchup for Saturday? They don't have much of a passing game, Wisconsin, and usually they have a, a decent running game, and that's not been as good. However, you got to look at the people they played. You know, they played uh, three tw top 25 teams, and they all uh, were losses for the Badgers. But uh, I still think they're they're pretty good. And another interesting stat: two years ago, it was homecoming, and this is homecoming this week at Illinois. James McCourt kicked a field goal at the end of the game and beat Wisconsin 20. Four to 23. Since that time, uh, Wisconsin's played 20 games, and they're 9 and 11 in those games since that time. They beat Illinois last year in the uh, season opener up there. But uh, so this is a little bit of a decline, if you call it, has been coming on a little bit for a while at Wisconsin. No doubt, should be a good one on Saturday. The Bielma Bowl is the Illinois host, Wisconsin 2:30 Central on BTN. Steve Kelly of the Illinois Network. Steve, as always, we appreciate it. My pleasure, Greg. Always good to talk to you. Big Ten Blitz, Penn State. And here to talk about the Nittany Lions, Corey Geiger with uh, DKPittsburghSports.com, also the host of Sports Central on WRTA. Nittany Lions coming off of a shutout of Indiana. Tell me how well the Penn State played last week against the Hoosiers. Well, the defense is good, Greg. Uh, this is a, a good unit. Um, they're solid against the run. They've got maybe the best secondary they've ever had. Uh, and Indiana's just not really good right now. Uh, uh, Michael Penix Jr. got hurt. He He's just not the same quarterback. And so that was a good win. First time Indiana's been shut out in 21 years, Greg. Mm. That, that was a surprising factoid to learn. But, no, Penn State has a good defense, and so does Iowa, which is what's going to make this week's game really cool. And that's why we brought you on to talk about this matchup. Let, let, step back and tell me a little bit about what's kind of become a really good rivalry. In fact, maybe – the second or third best rivalry in the conference. These teams, they're, they're, they play in some ways some similar styles. Iowa's a really tough team. Penn State's a really tough team. The, the programs in the Big Ten, that when you face them, you know you're going to face tough physical opponents. You're talking Ohio State, Michigan, Wisconsin, Iowa, Penn State. They're all in that same mold. Iowa's generally always been pretty conservative under Kirk Ferentz. Uh, I, I never used to enjoy watching Iowa play football because it was like going to the dentist and getting teeth pulled. It was just so conservative and methodical. And But, you know, I give Kirk Ferentz a lot of credit. He's, you know, he hasn't reinvented the wheel over there, but he has kind of gotten with the times a little bit more. They throw the ball more. They have more of a modern attack. Um, he, he, he opens some things up. He, he'll take some chances that he didn't do 15 years ago so uh i think iowa just they know that when they take the field against anybody greg they're going to match up physically and when you can do that in football i think that's you know a, a giant step from a confidence standpoint all right so this one at kinnick stadium which i think is one of the can be one of the more louder spots in, in the country that shouldn't bother penn state they've already played it at uh Wisconsin, wisconsin earlier in the year i think they should be ready for this environment. Yeah, that's a big point. A couple of uh, players and, and James Franklin were asked about that this week, that how much does going to Wisconsin help you that you've already been in this kind of environment. But, hey, I've been to Kinnick several times. Uh, that is a terrific place to go to. Uh, and I, yeah, I have a lot of respect for those Iowa fans. They make it tough there. I am picking Iowa to win this 26-23 uh, turnovers. You know, both teams are good at taking the ball away. Iowa leads the country at taking the ball away. But Penn, here's, the, here's the issue, Greg. Penn State's running game has really struggled, really struggled. And I think it's just going to catch up to them this week. A lot of pressure on Sean Clifford to have to do everything. And uh, that, that's a tough spot to go into uh, against a really good Iowa defense. All right. So does this eliminate somebody from the playoff in your eyes, or do you still have life if you don't win this one? Well, I you know Penn State has life because Penn State's got Ohio State left. So uh, Penn State can lose this game, and if they run the table and beat Ohio State and win the Big Ten championship, I do think they're in the con. I do think they're in the college football playoff because that'd be a twelve and one record, Greg, with wins over Auburn, 
Wisconsin, Michigan, Michigan State, Ohio State. I mean, the, 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 the Big Ten East has three teams ranked in the uh, four teams ranked in the top 11 right now. Penn State would have, have to beat all three of the other ones, you know, to run the red, run the table. So I do think Penn State would still be alive. If Iowa loses, I really haven't looked at it as closely because the rest of their schedule is not good. The Big Ten West is not good. If Iowa loses this, but runs the table and beats Ohio State in the uh, in the conference championship game. I would think Iowa would still be able to get in. Oh, can't wait. 3 o'clock Central on Saturday, Big Fox, Penn State at Iowa. Corey Geiger with us from DKPittsburghSports.com. Corey, as always, we appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you, Greg. Have a good day, bud. Big Ten Blitz. Corey and all of our contributors join us on our Sports on a Hotline, which is brought to you by the Woodhouse Auto Family. Shop Woodhouse first. 18 brands, 16 convenient locations simplified car buying save you time shop finance and buy online at woodhouse.com all right open up the phone lines for you 402-413-2400 the number to call us with a comment or question or fire off a text on that jessica will rejoin me next from the field to game day tailgates make the most of the season with a truck from woodhouse our team is ready to help you get the job done with a full lineup of our new or new to you trucks from Ford, Chevy, Ram, GMC, and Nissan. Plus, shop, finance, and buy your way online at woodhouse.com or one of our 17 dealerships. So get a win this season with a truck from Woodhouse, the official auto dealer of Nebraska Athletics. Valley 365 is here, and the time is now to take your farming technology full circle. Valley 365 is the ultimate command center, the new single sign-on platform that brings together our tried and true technology and streamlines your entire operation. Combining the best features of AgSense, Valley Scheduling, Valley VRI, and Valley Insights, Valley 365 is the next-level solution for connected crop management. Leverage your data, make the most of your time, and own your tomorrow. Contact your Valley dealer today. Tailgating pros agree that Lucille's famous fried chicken and more at Sap Brothers scores big with Husker fans. Be the MVP of your tailgate party this year and let Lucille's do the cooking. Stop by Sap Brothers Travel Center or visit www.sapbros.net to find out how you can elevate your tailgate party with Lucille's famous fried chicken. Celebrating 50 years of fueling America's heartland and welcoming guests. Sap Brothers is proud to be an official sponsor of Husker Athletics. Both farmers and Division I athletes are alike in that every season presents a new opportunity. Aurora Cooperative does what they always do, which is lean into every new opportunity. They focus on their roots and continue to stay tougher together with their farmer owners. These core beliefs are much like those of committed Husker athletes. Aurora Cooperative leans on their values of a strong work ethic to get any job done for their producers. Aurora Cooperative, tougher together. While some seed companies put a greater stake in stock prices and anonymous shareholders, Rob Seco knows that what's important to you hits closer to home. That's why you'll find we're focused on your needs. With a simplicity that makes us easy to do business with, a relationship that makes it easy to connect with anyone in the company, and the technology, traits, and genetics you need from any source. Put your stock in the company that puts you first. Rob Seco. Momentum. It's building at the University of Nebraska-Lincoln with game-changing work in precision agriculture, nanoscience, and digital humanities. We're unlocking mysteries in brain research, solving the impossible with remote surgery using robots. And we're creating bold futures with world-leading research in early childhood education. We don't slow down, and we're not letting up. We are Nebraska. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. It's game on at Sid Dillon Buick GMC Cadillac in Fremont, featuring our winning combination of Buick SUVs and GMC trucks and SUVs. And as a GMC business elite dealer, we offer commercial vehicles for your business needs. For the convenient and easy way to shop for your next vehicle, just visit our Fremont location or check out our full inventory at Sid Dillon Buick GMC.com. We are professional grade. From the University of Nebraska-Lincoln, I'm journalism student Grace Fitzgibbon with Campus News. For the fourth year in a row, 
the University of Nebraska system ranked as one of the top 100 institutions worldwide in earning U.S. patents. The NU system was granted 38 patents, and of those, 27 were awarded to UNL researchers. The result? New startup companies, jobs, and university-licensed products that grow Nebraska's economy. Today's play of the day comes from Nebraska. We pick it up with the local sports announcer at a Nebraska lottery retailer. Dave enters the store. He makes a move to the checkout counter. Looks like he's going to pass. Yes, he's passing the clerk a few dollars. The clerk takes the handoff and spins around. It looks like he's placed the scratch tickets on the counter. And now Dave has them in his hand. It's the old Scratcherooski. He scratches left. He scratches right. Oh, my. He's done it. Dave has scored a bundle of cash. Play is good. Go play. Odds vary by game. Stay up to date with the most current and latest news by following the Huskers on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, and more. These social media homes provide the fastest daily updates on everything surrounding Nebraska athletics, including game times, results, ticket promotions, prize giveaways, and more. Log on to also follow several sport-specific pages and Husker head coaches. Join today and interact with thousands of Husker fans around the world. Visit huskers.com slash social media to see all of our accounts. If you're driven by an adventurous heart, you're in luck. The 2021 Subaru Outback shares your spirit. It will take you as far as you want to explore with standard symmetrical all-wheel drive. It'll get you off the beaten path with 8.7 inches of ground clearance, more than Toyota RAV4 or Honda Passport. It's the best Outback ever. The 2021 Subaru Outback. Go where love takes you. Comparison based on competitor information for manufacturer websites as of July 2020. Visit Beardmore Subaru in Bellevue or at BeardmoreSubaru.com. You've trained for this all year. Endless hours of cardio, conditioning, and weights. And now you are ready. Ready to trek back to your seat from the concession stand. Through the lines, lost fans, and that mascot who wants you to do a little dancey dance, all without spilling a drop of your ice cold Bud Light. Welcome back to football, sports fans. We're back inside of our Huskers Radio Network Broadcast Center, sponsored by Acres Equipment, Nebraska's premier John Deere dealer with 27 locations across Nebraska and into Kansas, Acres Solutions for every field. Phone lines are open if you want to join us, if you want to talk GPA or goalposts. Those are the two (laughs) topics of hour one. Or if you have some thoughts about these pretty cool matchups in the league this week. I mean... Iowa Penn State's going to be fun to watch. And massive. That's what we're in the chat right now talking about. There was a question, could Nebraska still, you know, win the division? And, yeah, we need Iowa to lose and we'll win out and then, you know, have the head-to-head. So, you know, it's there's – for Iowa, right now they don't have a loss. So I think a lot of people are probably going to be rooting for uh, Penn State Penn to State. take down sure. Iowa. Absolutely. That will be a fun game. It starts at 3. It should end about the time we get ready to kick our game off with Michigan – on Saturday night. We are confirming the last time the goalposts came down was 95, Oklahoma. It went through a stretch there in the 90s where it was about every year. 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, but that looks like the last one. Kenlin said, rumor has it, and he goes, I think it's true that when Nebraska won the 94 national title in Miami, some fans came by the stadium, tried to tear the goalposts down, but the <laughs> gates were locked. They couldn't get in. But so many fans were so excited all over the state that they went to their local high school football fields and tore those <laughs> goalposts down. He goes, it'd be interesting to see if any of your listeners can verify that. That is <laughs> awesome. Isn't that great? That's so great. I wonder, so when did it kind of become, so obviously it happened, you know, every year for a while there. It probably happened to other places. When did it become, okay, you only rush the field on big games? Kind of the court, too, rushing the court. I mean, yeah, well, people are starting to get fined now for yeah. rushing the field. Um, I Bray, think a lot of his safety I, and well, we were talking about the collapsible go posts. I think those kind of came in about the mid 90s. People are because I'd like to, but they're not cheap, yeah. So, I'd like to promise, like, we can't have that happen, so we need to put these collapsible ones we can get them off the field. So, if quick. you can't break down the go posts, you don't rush the field. I think you can still rush the field, yeah, right? People still rush the courts, too, yes. But a lot of times you only see it on, I guess, big wins. And a lot of the programs, so you, you talk about Kansas basketball. When's the last time they rushed the court? So, Boy. you know, it's it's a lot of the programs. Kentucky, a lot of the, the big-time basketball programs, they don't rush the court. Andrews, you know? our resident 
Jayhawk guy, so maybe he can figure He's that out. He's a Duke out. guy, too, so maybe he could answer both those questions. Yeah, and, and we've had some fans tonight text and go, please don't do that. We're, we're above that. I, I hear that. Again, I'm not advocating for this to happen. I don't, I don't want to get in trouble with the boss. <laughs> Greg Sharp said to do this. But I do think it would be letting off some steam and, and showing glee for what this program has been through and where these guys are taking this thing. I got to tell you, I felt the last couple of weeks, it's been such a change in the narrative, the positivity, you know, the, the text, the calls that we've gotten. And I think it's because... You can you can see even with the loss of Michigan State, like like we've talked about, how much they dominated that football game, and that is the first time that they've dominated a game in, in how long? How many years that, since they've looked that dominant? You can see the changes. You can see you know the mindset, the mentality of this football team, the culture changing, and it just takes time to get there. And so I think now that fans can physically see it on the field it's not just so much you know the players hey you know saying it and talking it and hey we're, we're there we're getting there you can actually see it happening so it's been really really fun and I think you know another big performance this Saturday I mean would send it would be unreal that the kind of atmosphere around it, here it would validate it right absolutely what we've seen the yeah. last month ago that's validation they finally got over the hump and beat a top 10 team in Oklahoma Dennis on our text line said uh he remembers when they used to grease down the goalpost to keep people from jumping up and couldn't hold on to it. That that, that was kind of in that 90s era, too, that, that that became really popular to do that. And I remember sitting in press boxes and watching students slip off the goalpost because they yeah. couldn't stay up there. They'd get up there, and then they would slide off because they couldn't, they couldn't hang on. How would you like that job to, hey, you go need greases. to go grease the goalpost today? <laughs> I guess is there, like, some, some gloves you could put in your, you know – Put in your pockets that would uh, maybe rubber gloves or something that you could that you wouldn't slip off of. But um, how about speaking of kind of fans and, and everything? How about so with uh, Adrian Martinez? He was up for the yeah the, the Manning um, deal. Yeah, the Manning mm -hmm. Award quarterback of the week, and it's a fan vote. And so they put out a tweet about it. Um, I think a couple days ago, and then they they put out another one today. And I'm telling you what. Adrian has 7.2 thousand votes, and the next closest is the Tennessee quarterback. He has 3.1 thousand. <laughs> Does that surprise you? Not at all. <laughs> Not at all. But that is that is incredible. And and we talked about that in in one of our meetings, uh, staff meetings. That, hey, put it out there for Oscar Nation. They'll they'll take care of it. So and they did. you know, and they did. They absolutely showed out. I'm not surprised, but I mean, again, that just goes to show you, 7.2 thousand, and the next closest is 4 thousand less. He played well. He, he deserves some accolades like that. He's really played well for this football team. I'm like, at what point, I mean, depending on what this team does the rest of the way, is he in the conversation for maybe, you know, Big Ten Player of the Year? All-American. I don't know. I mean. Maybe. I think he, you certainly could make a strong case right now. He's the conference quarterback of the year at this absolutely, point in time. Absolutely, yeah. Toka Viola from Maryland might have been in that. He threw five picks last week against Iowa. That kind of knocks him out right there. Yeah, what was the stat? He went from, like, having nobody that threw more picks to having, like, 120 more. <laughs> so, like, it was. Yeah. Yeah, he, in one game, he went from one of the best to one of the worst. Um, so, yeah. Jim. he's He's got to start, you know. People were so hesitant because of what happened last year and, you know, the year before. But, you know, if he continues to string together these kinds of performances, and again, a lot of that is coming with the offensive line that's still trying to work out some issues. So if he continues and this offensive line continues to get better and he continues to put together those performances, he's going to be in some conversations for some of those awards at the end of the season. Absolutely. And, and it couldn't happen to a better guy. Really happy for him. He's such a good person. We talked earlier in the program about how he's already graduated. And he's, another guy that could come back. He could. You're exactly right. So That question has been posed to him. He has said, I'm not thinking about that till this season ends. So, yeah. That, which is a perfect answer, right? That's yep. exactly the way to do it. Because he, maybe he doesn't want to still be on a college campus. He has graduated. He's got that diploma in hand. But I know the coaches would love if he came back. That would They'd be awesome. And, and we've seen it. I mean, he's... I think this year he's, you know, continuing to get better, get better, get better. But, again, if you continue the the guys around him, that O-line gets better, gets better, gets better. The the kind of the wide receivers, some of these young wide receivers get better. you got a lot of people coming back. I mean, I think it could be um, a big, another big year, an even bigger year for Adrian Martinez in a year. Because, and, and we've heard so many opposing coaches talk about it and, 
year in and year out, those mobile quarterbacks are an absolute nightmare. There's just defensively not a lot you can do about it. And so, you know, if you, you get a guy like that that come, to come back, it's just – it's huge. Well, you and I were talking about how we've played six games. We really haven't seen a true mobile. Spencer Rattler can move, but he doesn't – that he's not, yeah, he's not an Adrian. Right. He doesn't he's, run the ball like Adrian. Correct. He's not going to rip it off for 76 so yards. we haven't seen that yet. Michigan's backup is a little bit like that, and I think we'll see. I think we're going to see him Saturday night. Yeah, I'm sure probably as good as uh, Nebraska's secondary has been, thinking, okay, well, we might not be able to throw it as much. We might need to be able to establish that quarterback run game. For volleyball fans, doubleheader on, on BTN tonight. Wisconsin just swept Iowa in a really good match that starts at the top of the hour, Purdue and Illinois. Nebraska hasn't faced either one of those teams yet. Uh, so if you want, if you like college volleyball, BTN has a doubleheader tonight. And they just re- – Wisconsin got pushed. Iowa pushed them pretty well, 26-24 in the third. But the, the Badgers have won, and now Purdue, Illinois, coming up at the top of the hour. So for volleyball fans, you got some action you can go watch tonight. If you're not locked into that Cardinals Dodgers game, St. Louis has a one nothing lead in the bottom of the second. Did you see that... we we have Coatney coming on? Are you going to give him a call? Should we do it, gang? What do you think? <laughs> Should we just call him, cold call him in the next segment? Uh, he we... won't answer. Oh, he will. He'll answer. Oh, he'll, he'll answer. just be short. What do you think? Let's vote. <laughs> All right, we'll, we'll call Matt Cotney now. See, now he might be listening. But we'll, call, we'll cold call him and see what he's doing. His Cardinals leading already one nothing in the second day. We'll, we'll do that as we wrap up Sports Sunday, 402-413-2400. We'll be back with more Sports Sunday next. The name on the mailbox may say Smith, Myers, Baumgartner, or Johnson, but when you choose to plant with Rob Seco, it includes your name too, making you a stockholder in a company that's invested in you. With a simplicity that makes us easy to do business with, relationships that bring more to the table, the technology, traits, and genetics that take on local conditions, and people with the know-how to use it. At Rob Seco, the only stockholder we listen to is you. Today's play of the day comes from Nebraska. We pick it up with the local sports announcer at a Nebraska lottery retailer. Dave enters the store. He makes a move to the checkout counter. Looks like he's going to pass. Yes, he's passing the clerk a few dollars. The clerk takes the handoff and spins around. It looks like he's placed the scratch tickets on the counter. And now Dave has them in his hand. It's the old scratch He scratches left. He scratches right. Oh, my. He's done it. Dave has scored a bundle of cash. Play is good. Go play. Odds vary by game. Finally, it's time to tailgate, to find your spot in a sea of red, to get together with family and fans, and to share what makes Husker football season the best. This season, share Valentino's tailgater tradition with their big red double jumbo deal and get two one-topping jumbo pizzas for only $17.79 each. Order yours at Valentino's.com. Some restrictions apply. See store for details. Valentino's, the official pizza of the Huskers. Go Big Red. From the University of Nebraska-Lincoln, I'm journalism student Grace Fitzgibbon with Campus News. The Rural Fellows Program doubled their average number of participating students this year, putting UNL student interns to work in 17 Nebraska communities for the summer. Interns use their skills to get real-world experience on a variety of projects, from mapping out trail systems to creating promotional videos to researching and documenting local history. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. It's football season. Husker Nation and Famous Daves is here to make your tailgate, house party, or get-together famous. Award-winning and house-smoked St. Louis-style ribs. Texas beef brisket, Georgia chopped pork, and house-made sides like our Wilbur beans, creamy coleslaw, and Dave's Cheesy Mac and Cheese will surely tackle any barbecue craving. Visit FamousDave's.com for all your catering and online ordering needs, or come visit us at our locations in Lincoln and Bellevue. Welcome to Ag Answers, where we answer common questions related to farming and ranching. Today's topic, animal agriculture. There's been a lot of talk suggesting that giving up meat is good for the environment. However, livestock emissions only account for less than 4% of greenhouse gas emissions, according to the Environmental Protection Agency. Also, by reducing meat in your diet, you're missing out on all sorts of beneficial nutrients like protein, iron, and zinc. This message is brought to you by Nebraska's corn and soybean farmers. 
Back Sports Highly Wednesday night, final segment of the night. 402 413 2400, the number to call or fire off a text. We're going to have some fun. Matt Cotney is the biggest Cardinal fan that I know, and I don't know a ton of Cardinal fans, but he <laughs> is. He grew up in Springfield, Missouri, as he will tell you, same high school as Brad Pitt. I don't know if they exchanged texts, but he. They were almost the same. They're almost the same age, so they were in school at the same time. That's his claim to fame. So he's a Cardinal fan, and I'm sure he's watching this tonight. Boys, and let's not him, listening to Sports Nightly. No, probably not. Let's dot him up. Let's see if we can interrupt his viewing pleasure of the Cardinals-Dodgers. They're in a break anyway in the game. Are so. we blocking the number? Are we screening? Are we uh, disguising the number? Oh, yeah. I mean, we, we'll talk over while they punch it in for so that it isn't. All right. I'll here tell him go. he's on the air here. This is like a prank call. This is so fun. Hi, this is Matt. <laughs> hey, Matt, Greg Sharp, Jessica Cootie on Sports Nightly. We, we we thought you might be lonely tonight and probably not. Nothing to do. Nothing to do. Nothing so to we watch just wanted on to TV. cheer up your night. Yeah, I was watching reruns of uh, of how to make uh, soup videos on uh, YouTube tonight. Yeah, thanks. Appreciate it. <laughs> We're talking about your love of the Cardinals. you got to be loving this. You're ahead one nothing. Yeah, how about, well, I said to everybody today who asked me what the key to the game was, it was like manufacture a run. You can't manufacture a run any better than the Cardinals did there. Stolen base by Tommy Edmond after he fought off a changeup and then a, a wild pitch. I mean, that's the way you got to get it done. Joe West doesn't know what a corner is on the strike zone in his last game, but, you know, we'll try and get through that, though. Hey, one nothing, and just a great play by the Cardinals. Uh, how did you know I was watching this game? You guys oh, come must on. have telepathy or something. <laughs> Give us a little credit. We know you. We know you well enough to know you're dialed into this thing. I really thought you were going to send us straight to voicemail. I didn't think you were going to pick no. up. No, 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 no. I, I firmly expect a bunch of phone calls tonight just making sure that there's probably people who are listening for me to scream, and if they don't hear me, they're going to know there's some problem to making sure I'm still alive here. But – this is great. It's uh, I don't think it's fair for the Dodgers to have to play in this wild card game. What do you guys think? You win 104 games, you have to play in the wild card game? That's not fair, is it? Seems a little goofy. Are you a fan of, of Wainwright's socks tonight? Well, he's been wearing those uh, that way for a, for a long time, you know. I tell you what, he showed a little bit of, a little bit of smack when he caught that line drive, and then he showed it to uh, – I think it was Justin Turner he showed the ball to. I kind of like that. He's got a little something, something. Tonight. It's, he's been throwing the ball in there between 68 and 72 miles an hour. I think this is great, you know. I mean, th he's 40 years old, making me feel young tonight. Very good. Co, we just wanted to have a little fun with you. You're, you're, go you're good for Saturday, right? We'll see you here on Saturday. You know, I have I have been there on Saturday through many Cardinal playoff games. I will be there again no matter what happens. It's going to be a big one. I can't wait. Michigan, Nebraska, are you kidding me? Let's do this. Good stuff. Coach, take, have fun with the game tonight. We're, we're hoping that your buddy comes back to visit you late night again, and uh, we'll see you on Saturday. <laughs> you guys take care. Thanks for the call. Love it. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. We'll program one of the TVs on uh, the, the game uh, in here for him. So a little, inside, uh, little inside humor there with Matt Cody, but. Huge. I, I knew. Yeah, I was with you. I thought maybe he'd just let that thing go to voicemail. When he said, hello, this is Matt after one ring, I really thought he sent us straight to voicemail. <laughs> I really did. Oh, that's good. Hey, buckle up. Put that phone down. A reminder from the NDOT Highway Safety Office. This was an all-timer. GPA, goalpost, and we, we cold-called Matt Cotney. I mean, I don't know how we're going to ever top this. <laughs> well, at least we got Jeremiah coming in tomorrow. And tomorrow night, head football coach will be here. Yep. So we'll have Scott Frost tomorrow Big night week. for our football show. Looking forward to that. And the boys behave themselves for the most part back there tonight. And we'll, we'll announce who's on the top of the scoreboard of the picks, which, you know, if you've been watching, you know who is. <laughs> all right. <laughs> That'll do it tonight. Thanks to Jessica, to Andrew, to Tim, to all of you for being a part of this one. This was fun. Hope you enjoyed this tomorrow night and then a two-hour show heading your way. Do you want the Cardinals and Dodgers? They're still in the second inning. Go Dodgers. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. Here we go again. The celebrating, the accolades. Ever since we added Marco to our team, our technology can't lose. Day after day, success after success, Marco's made our business IT a force to be reckoned with. The only drawback of being technology all-stars is keeping champagne away from the electronics. <sighs> 
Find out what your technology could be saying at marconet.com. Celebrating 50 years in the commercial real estate development industry in Omaha and nationwide, Noddle Companies is proud to continue its tradition of supporting Husker athletics. Check out what's new in Omaha, which includes revolving recreation and the food hall at Zone 6 in Exarban Village. Another exciting project coming soon are the Blackstone Urban Road townhomes. Noddle Companies, creating long-term value through community development. For more information, visit noddlecompanies.com. Go Big Red. Hey, Husker fans, if you're looking for an exciting new career as part of your pandemic recovery, Iowa has over 75,000 job openings in industries such as healthcare, advanced manufacturing, construction, IT, and ag. IowaWorks.gov has more information about job openings, earn while you learn apprenticeships, and exciting training and scholarship opportunities. Find your next great job in Iowa. They've got a solid game plan, a bright future, and want you on their team www.iowaworks.gov. Addy Sports Bar and Grill is the place to watch Nebraska games this season. Locally owned and operated, Addy's is Omaha's premier sports bar with four locations in Elkhorn, Maple Street, Millard, and the new flagship Capital location in downtown Omaha. If it's Husker game day, it's on at Addy's. Addy Sports Bar and Grill is Omaha's official watch party spot with game day giveaways, prizes, fun, and more surprises later in the season.